you, hello. Before we start, a word of explanation as to why we start each programme with each contestant having 100 points. It's simply that it's possible in the early part of the game for the contestants to lose points before they score any, which would give us minus scores, and that would be confusing. If that sort of makes sense, let's get on with today. And with us on Famous People to Play are... Sheila Whitehead from Leeds. Gwen Kingsley from Kings Winford in the West Midlands. John Donkin from Luton in Bedfordshire. Sherwin Smith from Rope Marsh in Oxfordshire. And Liz Ashton from Leeds. And round one, two questions each. The questions come in three parts. The other four contestants can buzz in for a chance to answer if the contestant facing the question fails to give me a correct answer. Here we go. Sheila, your first question in round one. Five points. The body of which World War I heroine was brought back to England after the war and buried in Norwich Cathedral? No, Edith Cavell. Gwen, please. Five points. What is the specific connection between a famous 19th century Impressionist painting called The Luncheon of the Boating Party and a famous French 20th century film called La Grande Illusion? Renoir. Yes, the father and son. John, please, five points. Two women who have been Commonwealth Prime Ministers have been the daughters of previous Commonwealth Prime Ministers. Which two women? Uh, Bhutto and Gandhi. Sherwin, please, five points. In 1581, Queen Elizabeth I knighted Sir Francis Drake aboard the Golden Hind. Nearly 400 years later, the present Queen used the same sword to knight who? Chichester. Liz, please. Five points. What unique achievement stands to the credit of Edward Egan of the United States and the connection is the Olympic Games? Three points. He won gold medals in 1920 and 1932. One point, the sports were boxing and bobsleigh. No, Liz? No. John, please. Uh, medals at Summer and Winter Olympics. Indeed. Sheila, please. Five points. A 19th century gentleman called William Shaw, headmaster of Bowes Academy in North Yorkshire, became from 1839 the most famous or infamous schoolmaster in the country after the publication of what? Three points. It was a novel. One point. Written by Charles Dickens. Mr. Squares. I need the novel, please. David Copperfield. Sherwin, please. Nicholas Nickleby. And Gwen, your second question, five points. This religion was founded in 1830 by a farmer called Joseph Smith who was assassinated in 1844. It's Mormonism, or the Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints. Indeed it is. John, please, five points. Which landmark in Paris, lying at the centre of a star formed by 12 radiating avenues, was designed to proclaim the glory of Napoleon's victories? The Arc de Triomphe. Sherwin, please, five points. Which country is this? An independent republic within the Commonwealth. It has been held over the centuries by the Phoenicians, the Carthaginians and the Romans. Malta. And Liz, the last question in the round, five points. He was King of England from 1016, King of Denmark from 1018, and King of Norway from 1030. Who was he? Canute. <laughs> and the scores at the end of round one stand at Sheila 104, Gwen 110, John 111, Sherwin 115, Liz 105. Rounds two and three, 20 questions. At the end of the first 10 questions, the contestant with the lowest score is eliminated, and the contestant with the lowest score after the second 10 questions will also leave us. Here we go. <laughs> 